In this video I'm going to show you how to build this beautiful jet airplane out of cardboard. If you follow all the steps correctly, you will have this airplane flying in no time. Okay, so we're going to use knives or scissors, anything that makes you able to cut. We're going to use, of course, the cardboard. Uh, you can use any kind of uh, cardboard, but especially the one that is like this for the boxes of cornflakes. And tape, something to, to write, and ruler. So we're going to start right now. The first thing we need to do is cut the box because we're going to use the panels independently. So we're going to cut all of this corner. And then we have all of this area to work with. So I'm going to cut the independent panels one by one. Okay, so we have these panels. This one's the bigger ones are the the most important ones because they are going to be the wing or also the fuselage. So don't get rid of these ones because they can be the stabilizers. So I'll leave it aside for the moment and we work with this one first. So I'm not gonna use like special measures, but I'm going to tell you how I, I do the process. But, and in the end, I'm going to leave the, the plans in the description of the video so you can check it out and make the, the airplane the same measures. I also recommend you to see how to make a glider because gliders uh, can fly more and farther than this airplane. This airplane is made to fly faster, but it, won't, it, it needs to go fast to, to sustain the flight. But um, you can decide whether you want to do a glider or a jet airplane with the arrow shape of the wings. But anyway, uh, let's get started with this. So uh, we need to take advantage of the whole area. But the first thing I need to do is um, bend this. But we need to get rid of these edges here first. We're not gonna use this because they are too small and we're going to use the whole thing. But the first step is to bend this in the middle. So roughly, we don't need to be precise here, but so is if, if it's 22 centimeters, roughly the, the middle is around 11 right here. So we can do this around here, the bending. Okay, this pen is not working, but I can see the marks that I'm doing. So right here is the middle. So we bend right there, bend like this. So if you press hard, you, you can make a groove there and then it's easier to bend the wing. So now that I, I have bent the wing, I can do like a little, uh, like a little round shape in the, in the top of the wing. Something like, you know, curve shape. In the bottom, you can do the same thing. So the idea is to make it symmetrical. And then we can see that the shape is something like this when you see the profile of the wing. So after that, we're going to measure from one, one of these sides to the other. So actually, actually I have to do it this way. Roughly, the middle of the wing is here, but you don't have to, care, you don't have to worry about being perfect at this point because the, the wings are gonna be trimmed afterwards, so you don't have to be really perfect right now. So let's say this is the middle. We cut the middle. After we cut that, then uh, we have the two, two wings, one for each side. So what we're going to try to do is uh, put the angle like this, and we're going to overlap all the wings like that. And so the angle might be something like this to begin with, maybe. So this is the angle I want to give the wing. So I'm going to mark the, the center of this. So it would be from this point where all the overlapping starts to this point, maybe. So, 
something like that. So now I know this is the overlapping point. What I can do is cut this, this wing first. And then I have my basic shape. And then what I have to do is trim the wing so it can be like this maybe. Something like that. So what I do is just go here, mark from one side to the other. So now we have the basic shape. Gets better and better. And then uh, we're almost done <laughs> with cutting. No, we're not. So actually we have two triangles like this. This is going to be our wing. And the next step is to glue together or, you know, put the wings together. But we're going to use a reinforcement in the middle just to make sure everything is going to be uh, perfectly glued and nothing is going to fall apart mid-fly or, or anything like that. So, uh, so we take pieces of cardboard like this and we cut that. We're looking for a rectangular shape. This is going to be the reinforcement of the middle of the wing. So we can glue this together like that and put it here. Something like this. I'm going to use some glue right now. This is a fast drying glue. This cures really fast. This is special for air models and stuff like that. But you can use hot glue a little bit, don't use too much, or you can use the tape if you want. But I'm using glue here because this is more reliable than tape sometimes, so um, yeah. Right here, align the wings, tape it. Right. So, uh, the other thing we need to do is keep the shape. The shape of the wing needs to have some, uh, some thickness, you know, to keep the shape, like the, the, wing, the wing airfoil shape. So we need to add something here, like more cardboard to give some mass inside. So let's take this, cut it, and then we can bend it maybe like this. Uh, we put it here like that. So it's this way. We put more tape. It's here. And now you can see it's it has some thickness in it and it's really light. So next thing we're going to do is start to tape all the wing, but before that, I think what we need to do is start trimming the the wing in a way. Um, let's see. For example, uh, here we're going to measure how long, how long this is. So what we're going to do is measure roughly 10 centimeters, or not 11 centimeters. Makes more sense here. And the same thing here, 11 centimeters mark it right here so I will cut right there where I made the line and cut here as well so so the idea is to be precise on the on the shape of the wing the wing is not symmetrical I can see so that's a little bit of a problem so make sure that your wing is symmetrical uh, you have to do that even before doing this because that's the only way to ensure you have the middle point in the right place and everything is symmetrical. What I'll do next is trim this part of the, the wing. So I'll trim it by two centimeters. So right here. And I'll make a line from there to the tip of the wing. Same thing with the other. Now we trim that. It's 
looking cool now. Uh, we start to, we can start now to tape the wing to make sure everything is okay. I'm gonna use a little bit of glue here in this edge. done with our wing. Remember, make sure it's always symmetrical. Uh, mine doesn't look that symmetrical, but I will try to make it work. But at home, you can do it with, with more time and effort. So next thing we're going to do is the fuselage. And it's really easy. What we're going to do first is take the measurement from the wing, and make a little bit uh, of a drawing on how long we want the fuselage to be. <clears throat> so, something like this, maybe. So, we follow this. We're gonna make a cylinder out of it. Right, so now we have this. We're going to make a cylinder. You can use something like a cylindrical shape to to wrap it around and make it easier. Something like this, maybe. And do this. We're we're not going to need all of this, so maybe we can use trim of this axis here. something like that and then uh, we can trim a little bit here just to make it straight great I'm gonna use more tape just to make sure everything is gonna stay in position next thing is we're gonna make a con to put it in on the tip of the fuselage. So what we're going to do is cut out of a square, shape like that, and then and then we're gonna make like a triangle. But instead of a flat flat base, we're going to make a round base or something similar to it. So this is the base around the shape and then we finish the triangle with that because we're gonna make a con out of it cool so now tape again Then we measure where this is going to fit. So maybe we can start cutting this a little bit. And then we will see if we need to cut more. Yeah, I'm going to cut more around here. And I think that's it. So again, we just tape. But first, I think we're going to need some weight in here although we will need to change it later, so we're gonna leave this to the end. Uh, so next thing is the stabilizers. Um, we're approaching to the end, because after the stabilizers, we're gonna be almost ready. So to do the stabilizers, we're going to need the panels 
we left aside earlier and make like a shape like that. I'll make the stabilizer something like this. So this is one. It's going to measure, let's say, seven centimeters this way. Then right here goes down that. And then the rest. So I'm going to cut this one first. This one works as an elevator. So let's cut this. So now what I do is just bend it like this and it have a uh, perfect symmetrical shape. And then cut the other side. Cool, now I have my horizontal stabilizer and now I have the vertical stabilizer. The vertical one is the same thing, easier. It's really straightforward process. Take this, maybe take the same measurement here, 4.5 or something like that, and then straight up, and then like this. So I'm gonna leave some space here, instead of cutting in the line, I'm gonna leave some space because I'm going to bend it here and use this as uh, some kind of base for the vertical stabilizer. Um, I think we're done with that. So maybe we can use another little bit of cardboard, maybe more, like this, to put it here, like that, and hold it in place so it's easier to hold it vertical. So I'll glue this. It's just a little bit of glue or you can use tape. Doesn't matter. So they have to bend in the same place, the same point, right there. So I can put it here and it's easier for me. So next thing, we have our vertical and horizontal stabilizers. So next thing we're going to do is put everything in the fuselage. And to do that, what I'm going to do first is make an incision here, or a straight line here, like that. Cut like that, and like that. Have to be really horizontal, but really perfect. And then put it here, and that's it. It's really straightforward. Uh, nothing out of this world. So I'm leaving this little bit here because I, uh, I'm gonna bend this later on to use it as an elevator. So I, um, I want to be able to bend it without any obstruction or anything. So I'm gonna cut a little bit here, that's it. So guess what? Where? <clears throat> so you guessed it, we're gonna use tape, tape again. Oh, we're going. We're out of tape, so I'm gonna need another tape. Okay, so more tape. Put it here, just to hold it in place. We don't need to be crazy perfect with this one. Vertical stabilizer, right here. They have to be really aligned to the horizontal axis. So just make sure looking at. Uh, it straight, straight horizontally. It have to be really straight. You have to see a line, not not something like up or down, just a line, and that way it will be perfect. Same with a, a vertical stabilizer and and tape as well. Tape. But first, I have to make sure it is aligned very well. So right there. And tape. Cool. Looks aligned for me. I hope you can see. And next step is to put the wing in place. 
and we are almost done. We're approaching to the end. So what, we're ne what we need to do is put this in a perfect spot here. We need to uh, have everything aligned to the wing. The wing is the main thing that generates the lift. So um, let's put this maybe here because we want to add some weight here to uh, have the center of gravity really well balanced. So I'm gonna use some glue and tape. Glue, I put it here. And remember that we have to keep this horizontal according to the wing and that way we will have better results. The other thing you need to have into account is that this have to be aligned as well, like the same distance from here and here and here and here. So we're gonna use the ruler really quickly to make sure that's the case. 7.5 maybe, seven. So maybe this should be like that. Seven, seven, that's better. Yes, cool, so that's the position it has to be. Next thing, use tape. So I'm gonna use really big tape here. This is not looking perfect, but you can do it at home with more time and patience. But I'm doing it just for demonstration. And even though it is not the perfect one, it will fly. I, I absolutely guarantee it. It just depends on how you will balance the center of gravity. So yeah, have that. Cool. Now uh, we're going to cut a little bit here to make the elevators here and also the rudder right here. I don't know, maybe, maybe that's okay. So I want to be able to move this to control the airplane uh, to correct the flight pattern. So yeah. Next thing to do, well, we need to make sure everything is aligned. So you look straight at the plane like that and start to, to bend things in place. So if you see something is not looking aligned to the wing, etc., just bend it in place. And if something doesn't look good, correct it. This is the time to do it because if you start flying like that, it won't fly. And we have still a few steps to go. So after you make sure everything looks aligned and looks okay and everything's glued together, then what we need to do is figure out where the center of gravity should be. So for these wings with this angle, we need to do a little process here. We need to measure the core of the wing from closest to the fuselage and then the tip of the wing. So eight centimeters will go here, which is right there and then 2.5 will go here and then we're going to to draw a line between those two points right make sure to remove this okay so I was doing it earlier and the point is right here maybe but actually you have to do it the other way as well so 2.5 centimeters from here and 8 centimeters to here. So if you draw a line from here to there, it will be something like this. And where these two lines cross each other, then there is uh, a line that you have to make like that. This line indicates us that this is the average uh, core of the wing. So what we need to do is measure from the leading edge of the wing uh, to here, which is 5.5 uh, centimeters, and get 30% of that. So what we're going to do to figure out the 30% of that, 5.5 centimeters is equals to 100% of our core of the wing. So 30% will be 
So this is what we have to figure out. So we have to multiply 30 by, uh, times 5.5, which is uh, 165. And then you divide this by 100, which is uh, 1.5, 1.6, I think. So uh, 1.6 centimeters, it's the, so 1.6 from, from the tip or the leading edge, 1.6 to this place, to this part. So this is the center of gravity, and the same applies to the other wing, which is, um, which is around here. So it's roughly around here, the center of gravity. So I have to hold the airplane with my fingers in the exact same point as I mark here in the wing, and it has to balance itself. So we need to add weight in the front to, to achieve that. So we can use some blue tack or something similar to it with some metal or you know pieces of metal or coins or anything that can help. So I actually have a few coins here. So the idea is to put enough weight to make it balance on those points. So we put that there and it's too much. So we take out one of the coins, maybe, or two of them. Put that again. It's too much. You can also push the weight back to this position here or closer to a wing to make it balance a little bit more. That will help as well. So maybe I, ha I will have to use one coin. Although if it goes forward like that, it's not a problem because actually if you make it uh, too light or it doesn't go forward like that and it goes backwards, then the center of gravity is, is not correct. The idea is to make it stable, but also fast. So if you add more weight to it, it will fly faster. So right there, it is going backwards and that's not the idea. So, so let's try and see how it's now. Remember that we have to add the con as well. Con will be here. I think that's cool for me now. Let's put this cap and we're gonna be done. That's great. We have our airplane balance and everything. The next thing, uh, well, I forgot to mention to do the same as you did for the elevator to the ailerons so you can move the wing one side or to another or you know make different things so maybe here and there to do some flaps and stuff and so after this uh, maybe we we can add something to hold it here so that's really easy to take again another piece of cardboard And I bend like this, like that, and like that, and then just to make it aerodynamic, cut it here and there. So this is, this is what you have to do: bend the carpet like that, make the base, and then cut it here and there. So after that, we put it there with tape again. I use tape for everything, but it's so fun to be able to, to put things together quickly with tape and not having to wait for the glue to dry and everything. So yeah, put it here. So you have a handle here now. You can launch it really comfortable. add a little bit more tape here and that's the last thing right there that's done so now you can hold it like that and now it's time to fly it but 
In the flight process, we have to, to correct the flight by adjusting the elevator, rudder, ailerons, etc. Just, uh, just to make the airplane fly straight or as far as possible. So if you did a great job doing the, the central gravity balance and making the airplane as symmetrical as possible, if you did a great job, then, then you will see the results on the flight. But if you didn't, if you did something wrong, then you will see that the airplane won't fly as good as you expect. Uh, remember, they have to be aligned, they have to be really balanced, and you have to be able to move the, the elevators, ailers, and all of those things to make it fly. And yeah, so let's go and test it. Wind, yeah, nice. The wind was keeping it uh, up, so it was fighting against the wind, and that's what you want to do. Always throw it against the wind, so you can get that kind of pattern of flight. That was nice. Okay, it's time to fix it, but you get the idea, it's really fun. I hope you liked this video, and remember to push the like button and subscribe for more videos to come. So see you in the next project.